Hi everybody, welcome to this video. So what I'm going to show you in this video. So how to group data with the help of Visual Mapper. So before we get into the solution, let us understand the use case where we need to group the data. So let us consider our use case where from the source system, you are receiving the employee contact details as an array of the contact details. Maybe you have a bunch of employees and each employee has multiple contact details. So we are getting the repeated employee ID and then its contact details. But before you send this contact details to the target system, you would like to group the, group the contact details based on the employee ID. So here, let us consider this is the JSON response which you are receiving. Maybe you have this employee array, like employee ID, phone number, type. And then you have the second contact of the same employee, employee ID, one, and then another phone, and then type. Similarly, you have a third employee, and this employee has only one phone number and only one type, meaning only one contact details. But here you see the employee ID is repeated. Now, what you want before you send it to the target system, what you want, you would like to group the contact details based on the employee ID. So make employee ID as a unique and repeat the font details here. So you see employee ID and then font details and then employee ID and then font details. Let's look at this, how to achieve this in Oracle integration. So here, let me go here and let me create a integration here. Let's say create and let me create the app driven and let's say group by based on employee ID. Group by based on employee ID. Let me enter a package com.ts dot use cases. Okay. And then create. So here I'm going to use my REST connection, Oracle no, REST connection. And here I will say group by. Next, here let's say employee. And then I will use verb as a get, let's say post. And here configure our request payload for this endpoint and configure this endpoint to receive the response. Click on the next button. And then I will choose this as a JSON and click on a inline. Okay, so let me take one sample request. So this is my sample request. Let me delete everything, only take single one. Okay, and okay. Similarly, in the response, let me take this JSON in line and then add me the JSON here. Okay, but okay, that's fine. No worries. Let me have a single record here. Okay. Maybe one here. That's fine. That should be fine, I guess. No, oh no. So let me have this edit, okay? And then, okay. Next, and then finish. Okay, now here, let's here click on add it. So you go to the response wrapper. Here you see employee details of a repeated element and font details is also the repeated element. So let me do one thing. Let me go to the request wrapper, go to the employees and map this employee details to the employee and then employee ID to the employee ID and then again employee to font details and then font to font and type to type. 
but till here there is no group by so we have to use group there is a function called group by go to the mapper and you have to add it your auto generated xslt so since there is a function called for each group the for each group function is not available out of the box in the mapper so you have to update that xslt manually so what i am going to do here here we have a group for each group group and similarly put that group after the end okay the matching for each group for each group and now here as a one custom at not custom attribute the group by so on which field you would like to do the group by so i will say this is my field on which i would like to perform the group by okay and then here you see for each select it's dot automatically so what i will do here i will map it over my current group so the current group so here we have a function called fn current group so it will select the current group and here you only need to choose type here so remove this and let's see this guy that's it so what we did we simply use the for each group okay for each group and use the group by element and grouping on the employee id and then putting the emp id here and then using the for each again and here selecting use fn current group okay so this current group will select the current group of the employee id and only provide the its type and form validate but when you use this group by you can no you cannot switch to the developer view the reason is group by is not supported let me validate and close it and let's test it let this to be closed okay let me enable the business identifier here employee and let's say employee it save and then close this activate your integration debug activate okay let me refresh let this integration to be activated first of all and then we will test it okay activated let's click here and then run and go to the body section and let's put it this okay the same thing employee id 1 employee id 1 and then employee id 3 let's run and see the result here we go employee 1 is a parent and then font details okay office this personal this you can see office and then personal and then for the third we have only single whatsapp and you see employee id and then font details of it so this is how you can group your data using that group by using group by of xlt function that's all about this thank you bye bye